personally, I'd be leaving the cue ball near the yellow pocket. And if you got it tight, as you say, if he snookers him, it's quite an easy escape. They're such a big target. And this time he's not played. He's trying to leave it in the jaws of the pocket. And that's going to be awkward cueing. The only reason I suggested the other side, there's the yellow and green on this right-hand side he could get behind, whereas the other side, he'd have to be swinging it round off a couple of cushions. Yeah, good point now. Just watch the pack of reds here. If he plays off the side of him, he's got to be careful. He doesn't knock a red towards the left-hand corner pocket. And I always feel with this shot, be careful of a bump on the middle pocket. Oh, but he's played this well. Oh, he's got the play. He's looking where the cue ball would have finished. Well, but the red going in was a bonus, but a marvellous cue ball. That was a good Yorkshire sound, wasn't it, then? Good lad. <laughs> good lad. <laughs> yeah, Mark, just have a look at this red near the top cushion to the right of the black because the black's not available the red near the black isn't available so he doesn't see this as too risky as long as he doesn't run across the face of it and leave this red on he'll be looking and nestling to oh he's short is he he's oh and that's the worst way to be short Foul. because he's left a sitter on he's left a sitter to the left corner couldn't be short Six. Oh, Seven. needs to go. A bit tentative that one. I wanted to be top side of the blue again. A slight angle to take the cue ball in and out of balk, but it's not easy to get on his next available red. But didn't he just show you? You've got to keep your wits about you all the time. The one thing he needed there, desperately, was a good angle on the blue. He's come nicely on the red, just got down and played the red. Should he give it a little bit more thought? Can he miss the yellow here, running round? Well, he decided to check it, and I'll tell you what, that just shows you the skill of this young man. Well, he may be OK. He may be able to play the red along the cushion. The way he checked it, tons of right hand side. Very clever. Played it well. Good. And this time, you no. Know, it's just got a slight angle on the blue. Whether it's enough or not, it's hard to say. just past the blue line but whether he can force the cue ball down to his next red and now he's just making well, sure of the pot I'm just wondering if he's spotted anything in the cluster well no because he's looking at the 80. the red that's sticking out he's played a few of these in this tournament and he's very good at fine cuts I've seen him play quite a few. And there's another one. There's another one. 19. Needs a bounce. He's got a bounce. Oh, 
He needs a lot of side on this. He's spinning these off, off please. Two cushion. It needs to hurry. He's not on it. Well, has he 21. spotted something in the pack? Is it a plant? Do we know what that is? The right middle? Referee Paul Collier trying to work out his... Well, that could be a plant to the middle, but it begs the question, where does the colour come from? I think it's on. Extremely risky, though, isn't it? Well, particularly if you're not certain to be on a colour. Is he going to force the cue ball through the, the pack of reds? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no quite. What a shot. What a shot. And what a shot to take on at this stage. I'm trying to force the cue ball up towards the blue. Just have a look at how much power you have to get into the cue ball to try and force it through those reds. Lots of top spin. Ding Junwei, 22. Mm, didn't want the double kiss, obviously. He wanted a good cue ball. He's left Mark Selby a chance of a pot, which is the last thing he wanted to do. <coughs> a little cluster of four, just below the pink. He's not looking at the two on the left-hand side of the table as he looks. He's, I think the one at, just at the bottom of the cluster of four, he feels it may be a guide, hits it, pots it to the right corner. Oh, and he wasn't far away. Well, I think he's covered it, but I think Jean Wee can play the plant. Too much pace, wanted a red to the Six. left centre. May have to take it into the yellow pocket, but the problem arises that the cue ball will be going towards that left centre pocket. Yes, and with the cue ball being so close to cushion, there's not a lot he can do. He can't widen the angle. So he's got to judge. Is it in off? Or does he have to play this red to the middle? He's playing it to the middle. He's played it well. Seven. Played it very well, but unfortunately, it's a bit too straight on the green. Blue doesn't have to do much with the cue ball. He's looking to try to get on the red, just to the right of the black. I was going to say, I don't like that choice, mainly because the yellow was hampering him. He's got the cue power to screw back off the green. Where's the cue ball going? Well, a lot closer to the middle pocket than he was expecting. He was playing to Ten. bring the cue ball on the other side of the middle pocket there. OK, he may not be on anything, but he's got a 38-point lead to protect.
Things in weight 10. A little bit short of pace. He's got the upper hand and Mark Selby knows that he cannot afford to leave one more chance, otherwise this frame will have gone. Good line with the cue ball, but he's left this red on. And I'm sure he can pot this and avoid the kiss on the black and the red close to the top cushion. He certainly can, and he's played it again very, very well indeed. Nicely controlled. Just managed to miss the black and red. Excellent shot. Yes, just one good positional shot now off the blue. We'll set up a frame winning opportunity for certain, but digging down, you've got to cue these nicely. Don't take the blue for granted. Got into it a little bit too much, but he'll settle for the outcome. Just a slight raise of the hand. To Mark. Six. That's not exactly as he played it. Seven. So this pink and one more red. Mid session interval after this frame. This red 30. to go 52 ahead, which is 51 remaining. Well played. 14. Made certain of the, the red, I don't blame him for that. But now he'll be concentrating hard on the pink. There's only one snooker needed, and we've seen how these frames have been turned on the head. But in goes the pink. There'll be no return to the table for Mark Selby. This has been brilliant, John. Brilliant response from Ding Zhongwei. Yes, Ken, and that's all you can do in these 21. situations is make your opponent realise that you're not going to go away. He's going to have to win it. He's not going to give it him. Don't give it to him easy. He could have... He's forgiven for his head to drop, particularly after losing 27. that second frame, but he's came back into this match. 28. And still in with a fighting chance of his first world title. He's not going to give it up easy. It's good to see. Yeah, every credit. 35. 36. Forty-three. Forty-five. The brown obviously is a problem. He may play a run through here and try and disturb the brown, knock it towards the corner. No. Oh, it's a bit hard, really. He's got the cannon. But he'll be just dying now to get to the dressing room. He's still in the match. 52. Some big frames coming up, Ken. Yeah, absolutely. They'll go to the mid-session interval and... 57. Things cup of tea will certainly taste very nice indeed. 63. Well played. Yeah. Very, very well played indeed. He could, his head could have dropped after Mark Selby won the second frame of the evening when Ding had his chance in a couple of rolls, he would have won it. But he didn't let his head drop. 
and he's won the next two frames. They go into the mid-session interval. He's still three behind, but I believe that he believes he's still got a chance.